That's recording.
What, is it the tone? I thought it was a bit of a stretch to me. Well, I just don't think it has the same expressive intensity and pocket lyricism as the first part. Well, so it is a little rewriting. What does it? It's a rough draft. Oh, great. The light side. Just spit again. <laughs> Are they watching? What? Are they watching? Well, I can't see. I've got my paws over my eyes. What? What is the point of this? Well, why do they videotape our bowel movements? What? Lights off. So, friends, how does yours go? Well, K, 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 K. What is that? Postmodernism? 20 lines of that. Well, we still screw up his data. 20 lines of that now means why? I totally bugged out. I think it goes with being myself. You think that that's in Hamlet?
See how she would do for this new haircut. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. 
Allah's poor place. I am thy father's spirit. Revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. Murder? The serpent that did sting thy father's life now wears his crown. Oh, my pathetic soul, my uncle, the all things that are the joke of your philosophy. Hereafter, I shall think to put an antic disposition on. The time is out of joint or perfect spot that ever I was born to set right. And I 
And when Air, we were two days at sea. A pilot very well at the point you gave us chase. On grapple, I boarded them. On incident, they gave clear of our ship, so I alone became their prisoner. They dealt with me like thieves of mercy. What is he that builds strong? Either the mason, the shipwright, or the carpenter. Ah, a grave digger. Mm. The houses he built will last till doomsday. Whose was it? This same skull, sir, was your skull, the king's jester. Alas, poor Yorick. But stop. That is where it is. What ceremony else linger in the earth, and from a fair and unclean flesh made by the spring? I tell thee, Trill's priest, a ministering angel shall my sister be, when thou liest howling. What the fell? The wall the while, set of cock arms. What is he who breathed that such a desire? The devil take that so- I'm in! I'm in! Ophelia, what was that? Now, where it is? The cat- There is a divinity that shapes our ends, but you how we will. But thou dost not think how ill ours here at the bottom of my heart. But tis a matter, we divide oddly. There is a very special providence in the fall of the spirit. If it be now, tis not come. If it not come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. The readiness is on! Come on, sir! Come, my lord! Give me a drink. How about this prose love? Here's for thy help. <laughs> Give him a cup. The queen crosses to thy fortune. Go for do not drink! I will, my lord. I will hit him now, sir. How much will you Oh, oh what the my own sex? The devil. I am justly killed on my own destiny. The drink, the drink, I am poisoned. Treachery, seek it out. I shall follow thee. I cannot live to hear the news of England. The rest is silence. Good night, sweet prince. And may the angels sing me to thy rest. Go bid the soldiers.
Excuse me, is this seat taken? Excuse me? As it is this seat taken? Yes, it is. Sorry. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Excuse me? Is this seat taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Thanks, anyways. Sure thing. <laughs> Excuse me, is the seat taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody very shortly. Well, do you mind if I sit here until here, Chantal? They do seem to be pretty late. Because you never know who you might be turning down. Sorry. <laughs> nice try, though. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, look, is the seat taken? No, it's not. Can I sit here? No. <clears throat> Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Do you mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place. Mm-hmm. So what's the book? I just wanted to read in quiet, if you don't mind. No, sure thing. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, really I nice. like it. So what's the book? The Sound in the Pyramid. Oh, Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the book? The Sound in the Pyramid. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? <laughs> yeah, I've read it. I know what I've read about it, though. It's supposed to be great. It is great. I hear it's great. I... Waiter! So what's the book? The Sound of the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? No, I'm more of a Mets fan myself. <laughs> Have you read it? Uh, yeah, I read it in college. Where was college? The old Roberts University. <laughs> Where was college? I never went to college because I just like to party. <laughs> I love Faulkner. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I've just started. It was one of the greatest reading experiences of my life. I, I was so excited after 10 pages that I went out and bought everything else that he wrote. Once again, it was one of the greatest reading experiences of my life. I mean, page after page after page of gorgeous prose, his profound grasps on the mysteries of time and human existence. <laughs> the smells of the earth. <laughs> so what do you think? I think it's boring. <laughs> So, what's the book? The Sound in the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I was so excited after 10 pages that I went out and bought everything else that he wrote. All that incredible psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And the way he, like, grasps the mysteries of time. And human existence. You never knew. You might not have liked it before. That's true. You might not have been ready for it because you have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. Oh, my name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I thought reading Falcon was a great experience. Yes. The sound of the fury. Well, onwards and upwards. Oh, waiter. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. So, what's the book? The Sound in the Fury. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Um, do you come here a lot? Every once in a while, do you? Um, not as much as I used to. That, that was before my nervous breakdown. <laughs> so, uh, do you come here a lot? Why are you asking? I'm just interested. Are you really interested, or did you just want to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether I come here a lot? Look, I'm just getting acquainted. Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk, long enough to ask me back to your place, or to listen to some music, or because you've got some great DVD, or some terrific unknown Jango Reinhardt record, when all you really want to do is mess around, which you won't do very well. After which, you'll pad into the kitchen, raid my refrigerator without asking me whether I'd like anything or not. Then you'll come back to me and confess you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year. Yeah, you better go with her, off and on, 
what you'll call a very intricate relationship for the past seven years, none of which interests me, mister. So you come here a lot? <laughs> I come here quite often, and I don't remember seeing you. Must be on different schedules. Yes, connections. Yes, different time zones. It's amazing how to give love right next door to somebody in this town and not even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. You know, we probably pass each other in front of the street every day, right in front of this place, probably. Yeah. Well, the waiters here, sir, seem to be on some sort of different time zone. I can't seem to locate any of them anywhere. Waiter! So, what's in your uh, I beg pardon? Uh, okay, sorry. So, do you Most come here a lot? Every once in a while. Oh, what were you going to say? Hmm? No. Oh, uh, well, I was just asking if you came here a lot. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, I come here quite often, and I don't remember seeing you. Must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. It's amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and not even know it. I know. It's crazy, city life. Yeah. Um, you were waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, uh, boyfriend? Uh, sort of. What's well, a sort of boyfriend? My husband. <laughs> <laughs> What's a sort of boyfriend? We're meeting here to break up. Ooh. What's a sort of boyfriend? Here she comes now. <laughs> but you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just reading. That's sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself? Do you think so? Well, I mean, sure. What's a pretty woman like you doing all the way out here on a Friday night? You're reading by yourself. I'm trying to keep away from lines like that. Okay, no. Wait, listen. <laughs> Well, okay, what's a, what's a pretty woman like you doing all the way out here on a Friday night? I mean, no offense. I'm out alone on a Friday night for the first time in a very long time. Uh, I just recently ended a relationship. Uh, a rather long standing. I'm sorry. Well, wait, listen. How about this? I, you know, since reading here by yourself is such a sad occupation, do you want, do you want to go somewhere else? No. Do something else? I, no, thanks. I was headed to the movies in a little bit. And I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, sure thing. <sighs> so you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just reading. Well, sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Breeding here all by yourself? I was trying to think of it as existentially romantic, you know? Cappuccino, great literature. You know, you see, that only works in Paris. Wait, we could hop on a late night plane to Paris. Catch a concord, find a cafe. I'm a little short on a plain fair No, it's okay. Darn it, so am I. To tell you the truth, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to That's a very nice offer, but... Girlfriend. Oh, uh, yeah, two of them, actually. One of them's pregnant, the other... <laughs> girlfriend. Uh, no. I don't have a girlfriend. Not if you mean that castrated sea hag that I dumped last night. Sort of. What's a sort of girl? My mother. Yeah. <laughs> I assure you the truth is, I'm out alone for the first time in a very long time. Oh. I just ended a relationship actually with a rather long standing. I'm sorry to hear it. I feel a little bit at sea to tell you the truth. So you didn't stop because you're a movie or you had some weird political affiliation? No. I'm a straight down to the dick of Republican. Straight down to the I, can I tell you something about politics? I like to think of myself as the citizen of the universe. <laughs> I'm unaffiliated! That's early. So am I. I vote my beliefs. Labels aren't important. Labels are not important. Exactly. Take me, for example. So what? If I had a, a two-point at a three-point at four-point in college, or did I come from Pittsburgh? Cle Cleveland? Westchester Ha! Sure. I believe a man is what he is. A person is what he is. A person is what they are. Yeah, I think that too. So what if I admire Trotsky? So what if I once had a total body liposuction? So what if I don't have nipples? <laughs> so what if I went through on the Peace Corps? I was acting on my convictions. Sure. You know, you can't just put a label on somebody. Absolutely. I'll bet you're a Scorpio. To tell you the truth, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? Um, it's a 
a very nice outfit, though. I'm sure it was playing. A couple of really early Woody Allen movies. Oh. You don't like Woody Allen? No, I, I like Woody Allen. But you're not crazy about Woody Allen. No, I just... Those early ones just kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. I was headed to the movies in a little bit. So was I. The Woody Allen Festival. Just up the street. Do you like the early ones? Anybody who doesn't ought to be run off the planet. How many times have you seen bananas? Eight <laughs> times. Twelve. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> um, listen, uh, do you, you want to go? Do you like Entenland's crumb cake? Yeah, I went out at like two in the morning last night to go buy one. Did you have an edge sketch it? And do you like Brussels sprouts? You know I hate them. I hate them too! <laughs> and do you believe in marriage in spite of current sentiments against him? Yes. And children? Three of them. Two boys and a girl. Harvard, Master, and Brown. And will you love me? Yes. And will you cherish me forever? Yes. You still want to go to the movies? Sure thing.
Thank you. Ah, to hell with it, I'll have a piece of pie. Here you go. Today's my anniversary. Really? You too? Mine's two years with no one. What about you? Twelve years. Twelve wifey. Recently cut her hair short. Looks good. You should know, this is not the one you Tough to bait, marry or single. Single brings a sadness, but sadness has its own perfection. Misery of marriage is a rare kind. It's the kind that likes company. Well, you look like a girl in a fix. I am. A bit of one. The four walls. What do you mean? You know, the thing at walls kind. Well, you gotta get it together, babe. There ain't no four walls inside your head. You gotta get yourself a personality, that's all. I mean, you stick two girls next to each other, one with a personality and one with that, and you go for the one with the personality every time. Unless, of course, the other one's wearing a red dress. <laughs> but that's a mistake a lot of guys make. I mean, the red dress comes off, the personality doesn't. So here's what you do. Here's what you do. You get yourself one of the self-help books. You know, nine ways to do this and seven ways to do that. You read this stuff, you memorize it, tell it to people, they'll think you're a genius. They think you live by it, but really all you're doing is you're just going home, whacking your head against the headboard while the TV sends numb and rays to your groin. Have you noticed that I ripped the part? Uh, yeah. Didn't know if I should mention it or not. Didn't know if it was the latest thing, you know, uh, cosmetic surgery or what. At the parties I go to, you can spend all night not mentioning things. The parties I go to, there's enough packed off flesh to create another party somewhere else. <laughs> Probably a more fun party, too, since all that extra flesh would be how to would have to be reanimated by some scientists using pig brains and whatnot. And that created at least something. Is this some kind of beauty thing? Like a no? No, just a displacement of the heart. Ah, but that could be beautiful, too. <laughs> Here, let me be a uh, momentary salve. Oh, thank you. Take the first wife. Crazy as a map of London. Her heart was displaced into the next state. Made her attractive. But every night it was like drawn to an inside straight. All or nothing. Ecstasy or agony. She starved herself at the 22. Dumb. Took her nine days to die. If you're gonna shoot yourself, you gotta get something big like a cannon. Otherwise, otherwise you could be laying around for years on your own bathroom schedule. Anyway, she laid there comatose and one day just pops into consciousness and tells me this. I mean, these were her dying words. She said, I am gonna sign every live color. Yellow and never innocent, pale blue when they sailed over you like the sky, red when I knew they drew blood, and then there was a black lie. A black lie was the worst of all, she said. A black lie was when I told you the truth. Wait, how can the truth be a lie? That's what I asked her, and she said, I told you the truth not to tell you the truth, because I knew the truth would hurt you. By the way, this is so typical of her. You didn't get down words, you got a diet essay. <laughs> anyway, I asked her why she did shoot herself, and she said, The joy of life juts out of me like the Matterhorn, but the pain of life looms over me like the Everest. <laughs> then she laid her head down in the pillow dramatically like she died. And I thought she died too, except she didn't die until three hours later. <laughs> and not for much of a Diabetes. She could have lived with a bullet in her head. And you know what? It was lodged in the right side of her brain, so that the only consequence was that it would probably make her draw better. <laughs> Am I talking too much? More pie. Pie, pie, that reminds me of something. I don't know why. I was 18. I was traveling in Italy with my girlfriend. She is 17. She's 17. We had about six months of experience between us. No money. I don't know how we got there. But can you imagine? Eighteen with nothing but t-shirts and a bag. One watch between us. A compass. A compass. 
I would thought that'd be helpful. I would thought we'd suddenly be helped if we knew North. <laughs> so we decided to camp out in the park next to the Coliseum. Cars all night long. Went to an Italian market, bought ourselves a bottle of white wine. Screw top. <laughs> we ate it. It tasted bad. But we got drunk up anyway. Yeah. That night, drunk in the park, 18, love. Uh, <laughs> we took the bottle home with us. Later, we were told it was olive oil. <laughs> I'll have six cheeseburgers, five cokes, one Sprite, two shrimp salad, four iced teas. I'll, I'll eat it here. Mary, yes! I just got back from Italy. I was with a girl. She's 17. She's 17. She went there to get a facelift and abortion. Besides, they could do a 12 step process there in eight steps. She got busted coming back. Trying to bring a gun on the plane. They couldn't link me to her though, even though she was staring in my face and screaming my name on the waiting lounge. I got bumped up to first class on the way back, so all in all, it was a pretty good trip. I did learn this though no more girlfriends I meet on the street. Hey, guess what? I woke up this morning and had a brilliant flash of insight. Well, what the hell was it? Sorry? The insight. What was it? Oh, well, I figured this. I'm 21 years old. I know what you mean. Keep talking, kid. And how much could I really know? Very wise. A wise old owl of 21. I figure a lot. I probably know a lot. Yeah, he doesn't understand. Not at all. I came up with this. Every emotion is consumed by its opposite. Every ounce of pleasure has an equal amount of disaster. Generosity breeds contempt. Power breeds weakness. Agony leads to a greater appreciation of bliss. You love your friends, they start dying. Friends start dying when you take more chances with your own life. Every ache you feel makes its inverse more possible. And that is the ecology of joy and pain. You should know this is the one. I'm trying to combine them both. The full life. The good with the bad. The dark with the light. The yin with the... Good. The yin with the... Uh, yellow. The yin with the... You hate you both. The yin with the... Yang! Right up. <laughs> what about love? Love? When I feel myself fall in love, I can buy a boomerang instead. Comes back to you. <laughs> Unless, of course, she was zigzag. If she was zigzag, there you go. There'd be a girl I can love forever. No middle, arm a mile from her torso. We walk down the street side by side by side. We live in a little cottage with a fireplace. Just her and me and three little zigzag things. Hello? 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 Not right now. I'm thinking about the zigzag woman. Uh. What it takes to turn someone's heads these days. Excuse me? Excuse me. Hi. Hi. You're falling apart. You're twisted. You, uh, want to get a movie? I'd love to. How'd we do that? Air. That was invigorating. How about a snack? I can go some pretzels. Well, how long do you think that'll last? That's an easy one. Well, good night. The beginning of something, it's ending, it's foretold.